vertical roller mill is also frequently called VRM. Vertical roller mill derived its name due to vertical axis or grinding table. Vertical roller mill is used for fine grinding of limestone and laterite. VRM reduces 80 to 100 mm limestone and laterite to 90 micron powder and helps in burning ability of raw meal during calcinations. Limestone received after stacking and reclaiming process is mixed with laterite in hopper. A certain quantity of raw material is stored into the hopper to maintain uninterrupted flow of material into the mill. Strategic combination of limestone and laterite is maintained through wave feeders for mixture of raw material in hopper. After hopper, material is passed onto the magnetic separator for eliminating any unwanted object. This process is essential for eliminating the iron particles from the raw material. From magnetic separator, limestone and laterite of 80 to 100 mm size is fed into the mill with the help of conveyor belt. Limestone mixture goes to main triple gate through the feeding belt. Triple gate is one of the elementary process facilitating entry of raw material in three stages due to its three pairs of airtight flaps. Advantages of triple gate are to stop false air entry into the mill, to feed uniform quantity into the mill due to its intermittent opening and closing flaps, limited space availability in between the gates and no two gates are open at any given point of time. Then, this material goes to vertical roller mill. Let us now understand parts of vertical roller mill. Gearbox Gearbox is used for rotating mill base. Mill Mill is used for grinding raw material. Reject group. Reject group is used for extracting rejected material from mill and sent to triple gate. Classifier. Classifier is used for collecting fine material. Let us now understand care box. The gear box is a planetary type wherein the output gear is like a sun and the three planets as gears rotate around it. The RPM of output shaft of gearbox is 26. Let us now understand parts of gearbox. Table disc. Table disc is visible from outside by looking at the bottom of the mill over the gearbox. This is bolted with the grinding table and both rotate with the gearbox output shaft. Motor This is a prime mover with 5000 kilowatt capacity with 990 rpm for rotating table disc of VRM. Let us now understand parts of mill exterior. Hot air inlet duct There are two inlets, kiln string and Calciner string. Entrance main door. It is required for checking of any suspected maintenance fault during mill operations. Seal air injection system. One centralized seal air fan is provided to protect bearings, metallic seal, etc. from dust and also to cool down them while working. Water injection system 
Water is sprayed into the mill to control mill outlet temperature. Let us now understand parts of mill interior. Four roller assemblies. The mill is equipped with four roller and axle assemblies. These are 360 degree equispaced inclined at an angle of 15 degree to the horizontal plane of grinding table independently fitted with rocker arm. Grinding tire. Tires are for grinding operation and have certain lifespan. Approximately after 20,000 hours, tires are required to be replaced in raw mill. Roller guard. This roller guard protects roller from dust and air. It is in two pieces and are bolted from roller covering. Grinding table. Grinding table is the rotating part of a mill with capacity of 16 rpm. We can divide table into few parts. Center doming plate. A doming plate is fixed in the center of the table and also used for maintenance purpose. Gearbox is attached under the center doming plate. Clamping ring. This ring is used for clamping. Table liners. Grinding operation is mainly held below table liners and roller tires. Table liners are fitted in circular shape and like grinding tires require replacement after a certain lifespan approximately 20,000 hours of grinding operation. Dam ring The function of dam ring is to restrict materials going outside and allow material for grinding below rollers. Scatter ring The rejected material crosses dam ring and is scattered by the segments passing this reject to scatter ring. Lower ring. These are in angular form and allow gas flow to pass through them to mill. This is a stationary part and its inclination is different at few points to give proper direction to gas flow. Armor ring. Armor ring is outermost and also called casting. This is a stationary part of the table and is in small segments fitted in circular shape. This ring is inclined in shape and gives proper direction to the gas flow from scatter ring. Let us now understand parts of reject group reject bucket elevator reject material is fed to the elevator then material goes upward quantity of rejected material is fed uniformly by vibro feeder vibro feeder after gas chamber reject material goes in vibro feeder which allows the material to vibrate its main purpose is to feed uniform quantity of output material. Reject wave feeder. The quantity of reject material is weighed by wave feeder. A magnetic separator is also attached on wave feeder for separation of iron pieces from limestone. Operation. Triple gate facilitates entry of raw material in three stages through its three pairs of airtight flaps. These flaps are operated by a hydraulic pressure unit and placed vertically one over the other so that a small quantity of raw material gets accumulated in between the doors. Then this material goes to vertical roller mill. Gearbox should run with lesser speed and more torque required for overcoming 
the grinding resistance. The hot gases by contact of crushed material remove moisture from the grinding stock. The moisture content of material gets around 1%. Triple gate discharge this material in mill through mill inlet chute. Raw material falls at the center of the mill table due to its gravity. Tapered rollers with tire draw the grinding stock and grind it. Grinding takes place by preset grinding pressure and friction through the effect of hydropneumatic spring system. The stream of hot gases being sucked from mill moves the crushed material upward to the classifier through mill upper housing. During grinding, small percentage of material is left ungrounded which is called reject. It goes outside the table by crossing dam ring to gas chamber channel. Few rejected material again come to the mill table by velocity of gas flow. Materials from main feed, reject group and classifier rejected material falls on the center doming plate and is scattered by centrified force. Checkpoints and technical specifications Technical Specifications